Hey, Lola. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. Did you really come up here to talk about our personal lives? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No way. You've been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Look at you. You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <clears throat> Keep it up, amigo. Nice form. That's twenty. Not bad.
You go, Commander. <clears throat> Kicking ass. You're gonna be ripped, man. Good stuff, Hefe. Oh, yeah. That's halfway to my record. Great. One hundred. 
That's impressive. Thanks. <laughs> Just 82 to go. Better luck next time, Vato. Mind you bastard. God damn it. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? Goddamn right I do. Okay, then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy, easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart-ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. All right. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? And with this time you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. Hello, Commander Shepard. 
Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pack. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room.
brought to you by the Citadel Department of Tourism. Experience history being made. received a new message. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. 
Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on, you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only Shepard left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian gamut. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Nightwings. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Susa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Souza. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way, so try not to lose it. Roger that. Disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Ah! 
Thanks, Commander. And I'm... Nice job, Specialist. Now I hit the showers. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me, I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um, hmm, hello, and, hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent, overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Exactly the same as the others. Glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Combat simulator.
comes out. Ha! Damn, it's nice to relax. I'm loose, not worrying about the kids. It's worth the stress to watch the people you're commanding come into their own, though. Shut up. Who said I was talking about you? You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. Just a big, deep boom. To let you know everything's gonna be okay. Thanks for coming, Shepard. Wouldn't have missed it. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh, 
Uh, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Katie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? <sighs> Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. You the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah! You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory sense. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto-7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. 
Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. Cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. He'll oh, die now! Oh no! The Vulture Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Telecasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Good luck and good evening. Here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Haha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> like this. It's joking time. how it happened, which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later.
How's Shoreleaf treating you? Good. The brakes are bad. Senek, hit the con. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security. Fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So, you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? Nope, no problem at all. No hustlers at my table. Fair warning. I tell you what, give me some tips, man. Seriously, I have the credits to fund a joint venture here. Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Informative. With the production of Francis Kidd's All L4 Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. 
Do you remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shall I and Bella kiss on the balcony? Well, I don't think I've ever seen that vid. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. You've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila. So many feelings. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, definitely. When this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. He once said that he first felt love for his wife when she stepped in front of an assassin to save someone she didn't even know. And when he knew his death was close, he chose to die doing nearly the same thing. Also for someone he didn't even know. Just as he loved his wife for it, I still love him for it. And I don't think that will ever change. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Dane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Dane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends. 
and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. About what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander.
Polyot has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. See ya. I have prepared emails, sent videos, even composed paper letters. I know this will not reach you, but it must be said. I once had no reason to live. Then suddenly, I had two. You and Kolyat. Circumstances keep us apart, so Kolyat takes much of my time, but... I don't know if it's obvious to humans. Fist slams the table. She comes to me, fingers cool and soothing. They... be alive with me tonight. I cannot forget you. That is what humans say. With us, it is a state called Tufira. Lost in another. It can consume us. In case you are in the same pain, I want to say... You have only made my life better. You gave me you, Kolyat. Even the Omega-4 Relay made me feel... purposeful. We are alive, Sia. And when we are not, I will meet you across the sea.